In my defence, there's no mould for a woman. No mould for a type of engineer. No way I'd want us defined by the number of piercings we have in our ears or the clothes we choose to wear. Or whether our age means we can be wise. Or how much we do or don't smile. Or how assertively we criticise. In my defence, we won't pretend this doesn't happen. Though we won't often see all these woes. Yet we've all experienced it somehow. With the highest of highs come the lowest of lows. And I want us to just acknowledge that it's okay to get it wrong. The important thing is listening and learning and helping each other to get along. In my defense, women champion men too, who have helped us in getting us to this place. For every misogynist out there, you'll find 10 good ones to fill that space. All genders are fantastic allies. And we have a duty to ensure that in gaining equality of women, we don't forget to celebrate all. In my defense, I knew, just like you did, that I wanted this good life for me. But pursuing anything out of the ordinary just doesn't come for free. I've had to do a double take, even when I was told that I act like a man and that my masculine words were not welcome. My assertiveness put on a ban. In my defense, I sat and reflected, despite outwardly putting on a smile, and I decided to challenge behaviors committed that I go the extra mile. I was told my accent wasn't posh enough, that I need to work on pronunciation. They went quiet on my assertive response was delivered with precision and enunciation. In my defense, that's not how my word works. No longer will I sit on the fence. No longer will I sit in silence. My job is to build your confidence, to ask them how it would feel to be judged, more by perception than what they do. And I commit to promoting on merit so that you can really be you. In my defense, we'll celebrate your individuality. I'll encourage you to lean in. I'll protect us on the day where it's hard. And over time, you'll get thicker skin. Because being an engineer today is more than just a role. You'll have to be many things to many people as you're climbing the greasy pole. In my defense, we will look for speed bumps and we'll pause rather than plug ahead. We recognize the issue early, so solution can be nurtured and fed. And we'll find an alternative route. We'll communicate what we did. And that fosters honesty and integrity. No experience was learned that was not lived. In my defense, you can trust your own judgment. You will form your own perspective. Do not underestimate your ability to be curious and perceptive. Curiosity is your friend and will make you probe and test some more to get the nub of the issue so that when you decide, you are sure. In my defense, decisions are welcomed, much more than indifference. And sometimes you'll get them wrong, which is not a lack of competence. You see, good decisions are made with the best information you have at the time and you revisit whether that's still valid, you assure yourself it's still right. In my defense, our honest opinions are appreciated when backed up by fact. No need for sugar, spice, or all things nice. Professionalism naturally requires some tact, but there's no need to pull any punches. Courage is sometimes tinged with fear interact with good intentions. You'll find people willing to lend an ear. In my defense, advice is easy to come by. Engage with all that it comes from. But question 
and test what people tell you, gut instinct does not evade the young. There will be lots of sage, wise words from people often with more years than you. Good advisors will not be offended when you decide for yourself if it rings true. In my defence, you need not be perfect. Goodness knows that few women claim to be. And if you need some reassurance, just hear some of the tales from me. From running late across the school car park, being a working parent is tough, to turning up frazzled and tired because your child's night was rough. In my defence, I FaceTimed in for parents' evening, not something I'd often recommend. As the teacher scowled down at the camera, sealing a parent's reputation I could not mend. But when I look back at this chaos and I look at the phenomenal engineers today, I realise we're all just people and I hope that aspect will never go away. In my defence, women are not victims. Accountability is there to be grasped. When asked for volunteers for horrible jobs, don't let your hand go up last. Empowerment is taken, not given. Push yourself until you decide to stop. Don't make others give you permission. That's how you and I will get roles at the top. In my defense, those roles are fair game. Those roles are there to be won. And in fighting right, we teach others lessons, valuable lessons for daughters and sons. Because like it or not, you are role models. Others will look up to you, be proud of what you show them, because one day they will be role models too. In my defense, we are all hardworking people, filling our futures with technology and hope. But Sarah's not dressing it up nicely. Some days, all you can do is cope. And when you come across these challenges, I want you to remember that you are robust and you have the tools to manage and you will fight to make it more just. In my defense, we won't worry or ponder how we think we might be perceived and we'll strive for that nirvana where we're judged by our words and our deeds. And when you come into engineering and you take up the challenge and fight of building our technical excellence, you help other women like you take flight. In my defense, I'm not going to pretend that it's all perfect and works like a charm. But I will commit that your gender will never cause you any harm. So enter this working world with resilience abound and confidence, knowing that people like me have your back. That's what I commit to in my defence.